let's solve multi-step equations when we have distributive property. Step one is to distribute. Step two is to combine like terms on the left side and then on the right side of the equation. Then we move the variables to the left side. Then we move the constants or numbers to the right side. Then we can substitute our solution to see if we were correct. For our first example, we're gonna distribute first. So I'm gonna distribute the two to everything inside the parentheses. Distribute means multiply, so two times three x is six x. There's a subtraction sign between them, and two times four is eight. Nothing on the right-hand side needed to be distributed. So then I want to move my variable to the left-hand side. So six x minus eight x is negative two x. Then I wanna take my constant to the right-hand side. So negative two x equals 28. And again, we use the inverse operation. So that would be dividing by negative two. So x equals negative 14. For our next example, we have distributive property on both sides. So I'm gonna distribute on the first side. Four times two x is eight x plus four times three, which is 12. Then, negative three times x is negative three x, subtraction sign in the middle, and negative three times one is negative three plus 31. The trick here is when we look over here, we have double signs. We know that if we subtract a negative, that really means adding a positive. So then I can combine like terms. So eight x plus 12 doesn't change on the left and I have negative 3x plus 34 on the right. I'm gonna take negative 3x to the left by adding 3x. So 11x plus 12 equals 34. Then I wanna subtract 12 from both sides because that's the inverse operation. 11x equals 22 divide by 11 on each side, and that will give me x equals two. So as a review, you follow these steps when solving multi-step equations with distributive property. Distribute, combine like terms on the left side and the right side, move the variables to the left side, and move the constants to the right side. And you can always substitute your solution at the end to check if you're correct.